Good morning, it's the 15th of March 2020 and we find ourselves out here in the bush as you can see. Nice quiet waters, peaceful surroundings. Yeah, nice peace of mind. However, <laughs> quite the opposite I think from an investment perspective if you look at the last week. If you look, it's been a bit of a disastrous week. We found that uh, the S&P 500 had its worst day since uh, 19th of March 1987, Black Monday. We also found uh, that the local markets are no different. We found that the JSC fell also again the worst since probably 1997. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's been quite a kind of bad week. So the two driving factors that's driving our markets down, first thing is obviously the coronavirus. You must remember that this week it was declared a pandemic. We saw travel restrictions in the US tightening up in terms of Italy. Even France, France has even cut back in terms of its uh, restaurants, cinemas, everything's closed. Schools have been closed um, and yeah, quarantines are being enforced and that's leading to production basically falling drastically. Tr production falls, that means manufacturing falls and has all sorts of knock-ons. Travel industry is quite adversely affected. A second factor that has also been uh, uh, part of the catalyst to this disastrous week from an investment perspective has been the oil price. Big war between Russia and uh, the Saudis. That has seen the oil price tumble quite heavily in the last couple of weeks to uh, below $34 uh, dollars per barrel. And uh, yes, companies such as Sassel, Sassel have been quite heavily affected. I think it's quite a huge drop that Sassel hasn't seen in a very, very long time. So Sassel, which is a good company and a good share, has been adversely affected. But there's other shares out there that are taking a bit of a hiding. And for those that think that uh, bonds and cash is uh, not going to be affected, you must remember that bonds is corporate debt. And corporate debt is used to fund uh, companies and that. And at a time when companies are not doing great, that corporate debt is now under threat. So while locally we worry about junk status, which will affect uh, our bond market, um, corporate debt is also, by the same circumstances that we find ourselves in, is also been factored in and taking a hiding and under threat. So corporate debt is not a safe haven. Uh, interest rates also, in, if you look at interest rates over the last couple of months, have also have been cut. So cash also uh, returns are low. Property, well listed property, through all the factors I've just mentioned will obviously create vacancy rates and also uh, see a fall. Mm -hmm. Travel industry is taking a, a hiding, manufacturers taking a hiding. I think there isn't really a safe haven right now, even in gold prices and that. So unfortunately, guys, I, need to, I think we need to just come to terms with unfortunately that we, no matter where we sit, what, what asset class we sit in, um, it's a difficult market right now. And I don't see the rest of 2020 being any different. I think that we're going to find this to be a very difficult year. And just like someone once said to me that even with the hardest thunderstorm, um, the rain eventually runs out. So we will see things turn. I think there is, it does create a bit of a buying opportunity, but I don't know if we're at the bottom of this uh, teacup just yet. But my advice would be speak to your financial advisor. Don't make any rash decisions. If you need any advice and you don't have an advisor, please give us a shout. My name is Troy, and you can drop us a mail at Troy, T-R-O-Y, at Troy Lars, T R O Y L W A S dot C O dot Z A. Please stay tuned to and follow us on Troy Lars on the blog, and we'll post more videos as they become pertinent. Hang in there and uh, let's ride the storm cup together. Let's get through the storm and uh, this too will pass. Cheers.